So guys, just to let you know, we just we've come back to St James's Cemetery. There's magpies up there in the tree. Shadows getting cast everywhere and off this. But we've decided to come back and film it with a normal vision camera guys so that you can see a lot more and a lot different. It's strange the way them flowers, how cold it is. Very strange that the way they grow up there. Looks so different. But... Whilst we are staying, I know. So this is the bit where Adam was last time, guys. You can see he's over there in the distance. The light's very bright, so we won't look into the light too much. Yeah. And I did hear like a footstep or something kind of like coming up on me. I kind of dismissed it a little bit. It's, it's just leaves, but obviously listening to it back. Yeah, they're bricked up now, but these were the old catacombs, which obviously used to hold all the bodies. And what we're going to do because we didn't do it last time and we thought we'll do something a bit different for you on this one guys it's a little extra video for you is we're going to walk up the slope this time which we didn't do because again there were more catacombs up here So this is like, yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's layered, isn't it? So that's not the middle section. You just have a little walk on this one. So guys, I'll blind myself for a minute. In fact, let me turn this thing down so I don't look like Casper. That'll do. So guys, what we decided to do, we've actually just been out filming. There's the uh, there's there's the handsome one up there. So what we decided to do is come back to St James's and do something extra, an extra little video for you. Just using one normal vision camera, no night vision in this. I do have the S box with me but we're having a little wander around where we didn't go last time and then we will head over towards where we got all the action and where the tunnel is and we'll do some investigating over there but as per usual hit that subscribe button while you're watching guys and give us a thumbs up I don't think that's the way that's the thing that the thing that There's a shape to it, isn't there? What is it? It might be actually. Yeah, well, this is this is where this is where the hearses went, isn't it? This is the thing. This is the actual track that the hearses went on. You all right up there while I'm down here with the hearses, like? <laughs> quite big here, like. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's the old uh, the old cuttings on the catacombs here. Is that wood? Yeah, these are the old catacombs down here, mate. You can't go into them, but is it? So yeah guys, so you can see in here the, the cut out of the wall, these were the old catacombs, ironically these are the old catacombs that my mum said she used to play in, why you would, but then we're all fearless as kids aren't we, and you think all of these used to contain bodies and but if, if there is anyone up here with me come and say hello. See, there's the cathedral up there, guys. There is someone who's by Huskinson's tomb, um, but we're not too concerned tonight. We're not. This isn't a proper episode, this is an extra. But you can see, obviously, some people are using these as little, little dens. You can see the workmanship that goes into it. Let's just leave a little. little calling card in there. We called, we missed you. <laughs> Here comes the youngin. Like this. I camera. <laughs> so I walked up to the top there and it, that wasn't paranormal, that was just Chris. I mean, it would have been good, wouldn't it, if you could have like sat in one of them? Yeah. You know, one eye either side and that. It's a bit crazy though guys, because we've come back to do an extra. It's that thing, this is just a spare of the moment thing tonight. It's um, We've just finished filming just up the road in an episode that you will have seen by now in Peter Cavanagh's. So we thought, whilst we're at the end of the road, let's maximise the potential. So we thought, let's bring the normal camera and a light and come back. But it's mad that there's, we know there's one or two people down there. And it doesn't bother us tonight because we had these expectations last time we were having the place to ourselves. Whereas tonight, we're just having a wander around before we go to bed. So, come with us. I've got the S-Box in my pocket. And let's see what we find down here. I think it'll be interesting if we go back to where we did do the S-Box and the music box down in the corner. That, yeah. that grave that we had the yeah. tapping on. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. Just saw that. Just have one sticking out. What's that? Just saw another one sticking out there. Just caught the corner of my eye. There it is. Another beautiful one there. There's our mate's, uh, our mate's tomb. And quite a lot of stuff happened last time down there. Yeah, we'll have a nose in that with the uh, on the way back through. I think so, yeah. It's definitely worth a little revisit. There's some very audible stuff last time when we were down there. I think it's just the main wall. Because there was a yeah. central area. Uh, you see some of the pictures and it looked like there was a central area, but obviously it wasn't unless he said that that's different stone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
unless this was it, this is new stone. Unless this was it, this is new stone, isn't it? Yeah. It's fresh brick, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun, yeah. It always makes you wonder whether someone's been in to pinch something. Mm. Yeah, it's mad the way that one's up here. Oh, there's a few more here, actually. Yeah, that's all. I didn't even put that search. Isn't it? That's actually one big, in big. That's one yeah. here. That's been embedded in the wall or something. Mm -hmm. That hasn't it? It's quite interesting because we obviously didn't come up. It's, that's 1808. It looks like the date on there. It's bloody old. Died at Rosario, Argentine Republic, age 36. It was one of them that you just, you, you're thinking back to, to the last time we were here. It's like, is there anything like relevant when we were, we were last here that came through that we just missed? But, Yeah, see the um, see there, that, that's been the cafeteria up the arch there. Yeah. So that's been one as well, so yeah, there's another one there, you look at it. See the stone, these ones, pattern on them. See that's the secret entrance from Lord of the Rings, that speak friend and enter. <laughs> I can't remember what the uh, Elvish for friend is. Put it in the comments below. <laughs> It's it's weird, isn't it, when you come to play like there's nothing here, there's nothing here, and then there's like one random one, yeah. like right in the middle, and you think, why is that there, and there's nothing else? Hugh Schofield, eighteen sixty three. Marking on it. Weird though. It's mad, isn't it? There's just so many like little random um, statues and graves and That's in like Roman numerals as well. This is one of our favourite places. Oh, I'm sure, I just saw something flash then. Yeah. Yeah, just there. No, might have just been there. Apparently, someone I read somewhere that the uh, stonemasons. In some places near the stone masons initials are supposed to be carved in. It's 
It's one of them, though, isn't it? It's like bloody bits and hell. It's like all the cars, and it's like trying to find it. <laughs> That's a ghost of a gravestone there, look. Guys, we're gonna put the S-Box on, but we're gonna go down into the corner down here. Now you'll remember from the episode we released on Christmas Eve, what we didn't know at the time was the grave that we're gonna go and stand by, we call it Tapping on it. And it's the one where we left the music box and we also got the orb of light that appeared and then just vaporized away, if you like. Um, so let's go and um, now we know that there was something happening down there and potentially inside one of the actual graves which if I knew that at the time and I'm stood there by myself I wouldn't have been carrying on um, but we'll wander down there you're gonna see it in all its glory all the colors and everything so you know and this <laughs> and he, 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 he. so you know and this <laughs> oh. well, if that's not a foreboding sign guys I don't know what is but what kind of bird was that well. bloody on edge now <laughs> That Jesus Christ, Chris, I'll shit yourself then as well. <laughs> Apparently that tunnel goes so far in, but they don't know how far when they were building the, um, I was reading up, when they were building the cathedral, um, do you think it was munitions, storage munitions, if munitions storage, sorry, um, up during the war, that's where they were storing stuff and, uh, and valuables and stuff like that as well, that was um, that the stuff they needed underground. But they don't know how far the tunnel goes underneath because they have to move the foundations or something. Pretty useless trivia for you anyway. So if it was you that we made contact with last time, mm -hmm. you would have come back to say hello. Because we now know that potentially Sir George drink water. And John drink water. And Elizabeth drink water. We now know this. This. Did you say something? Then? No. Uh, hello. What? Did you just say no. something? <laughs> oh. I said no. <laughs> Again, just before I pan the camera around, there was a bit of a, I don't know if it's a glare off the camera, but it looked like a bit of a flash next to you. Yeah, I thought it was an email, but it's strange. But yeah, guys, this, this is the exact spot where I put the music box and I had my camera back here. So, <laughs> just, just what's caught me off guard is just here, is... Here lies the, the the remains of Isabella. Isabella. Remember Isabella from no last way. time. Isabella. It's just come through on there. Isabella just come through. Yeah. And I found Isabella. And then Isabel. Oh, sorry, Isabel. Isabel has just come through. Isabel. 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 Seriously? Um, look, they, just because the name caught me there. Look, beneath oh this God. cross rest the remains of Isabella. Isabella? It just says Isabella. Wow. Isabella. Yeah, and maybe that was the name we got through. Maybe it was, maybe Isabella's moved over there. No, could have like followed us out. Yeah. This shows us brilliant that we've come back. <laughs> we've, that's, that's, that's boss. 
So let's turn the volume up on this and let's just let's just do five minutes on the on the S box guys. So if you made yourself known last time, can you tell us your name? Help us. Yes, you. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. You. Can you tell me your name? John. John again, yeah. So, John, was it, was it you that I heard clapping? Saying okay. something mm. then? Tell us what month it is. Hey Chris. Just say hey Chris. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you hear, I hear like a whistle first, do I? Swap over. I have a little waffle sauce for some reason. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. 
Anything else you'd like to say before I turn it off? Right, we're going to go down to Huskisson soon now. Come with us. It was um, definitely sound like some really dark voice or deep voices should I say rather um, yeah. that come through on that. Did you yeah. hear John a couple of times though? That uh, was you John, thank you. We meant you no disrespect. So thank you very much. And if it was you that came through and tapped, thank you. Back at you. Thanks John. See the uh the sound just bounces everywhere in this yeah, corner as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes into there and comes yeah. back out, doesn't it? This is quite strange. It's a great place though, isn't it, when it's... Uh... Back to my mate here. Yeah. See his face again. Hello again, William Huskisson. Hey, dude. We've met before. You showed yourself to me. Can you make a noise in here again? Show yourself again? There used to be a statue on, on top of that plinth. Really? Yeah. I don't know where it was moved to. Were you happy that they moved your statue, William? Yeah, originally. You had, um, you had a statue on top of that plinth. You can just see the hole on the top where obviously you must have a steel rod. Yeah. But there was actually yeah, a big tall statue, William Huskinson, in there. How did that make you feel, William, when they took away your statue? Fuming me. <laughs> You showed yourself to me last time, William, and I'm, I apologise that I ran away. It was quite scary for me. I wasn't expecting it. Can you make a noise or show yourself again? You're going to make a noise, will you? Because we're going to go now. Come on. You did last time. Can you throw something? Move one of those sticks on the ground. If you could get in there, would you would you go in? Yeah. Sit in there. Yeah. See if he came back. I think I think if I was in there I'd feel more comfortable. Mm. Okay, William, maybe we will uh, we'll see you again next time. Yeah, it was nice to see you again. We'll speak to you again. See the odd lights, but it's uh, on the road, I think. Uh, see, I could have sworn I had like just like a conversation between two females. It's such an interesting place, this place, though, guys. It's. If you ever do get the chance to come here, it's completely free. Um, 
just do a bit of research on it and come down by yourselves like we are. Some people are paying £10 an hour for to have a walk around with a group because someone dresses up. And fair play to them, they're putting the effort in, they're really doing the research and playing the parts, but just grab your camera and come down and have a walk around with a couple of friends. It's safe, it's friendly. The only people we haven't bumped into are students that are living in the city, so do your own tour, do your own research. That's all we do as paranormal investigators. That's the one that looks like a head. <laughs> like oh, yeah. <laughs> so a little bit different on this one, guys. It was just just an extra little video for you that we've done after filming Peter Cavanagh's, which you'll have already seen. So we hope you've enjoyed the extra walk around St James's Cemetery with a normal camera. Um, this fella looking all smart in his reefer jacket. Um, but yeah, so again, hit the subscribe button guys and uh, whenever it is that we put this out because we don't know, please enjoy it and, um, and there'll be more of these to come. You know, we'll try and fit in as much as we can so that we don't leave you hanging over the summer. So yeah, thanks very much guys and we'll see you on the next one. See you soon guys, take care. Oh, <laughs> it's garbage. Oh, <laughs> it's garbage.